Hello, welcome. Here are things that no one told me about being a senior in college. As a senior in college now, experiencing them firsthand. Last year I could never understand why my friends who were seniors would skip class so often until I found myself skipping class. As a senior, a lot of the classes you're gonna take are for credits anyway. You've already done your core classes and this year is supposed to be the loosey-goosey fun year but when you're taking classes you don't really care about, it's, it's tough to go to them. And I was always the underclassman that said, I'm not gonna check out my senior year. I'm always gonna put my best foot forward. I'm a good student, I know who I am and here I am just dreading some of my classes. And it's normal. It's very normal to be experiencing it. It's very situational for everybody and different with different majors. I have the flexibility of being a business major in marketing and I've taken all my core classes. So now I'm just taking a couple extra classes that give me enough credit to pass as a full-time student so that I can work my job here. And of course, get my degree. So I'm not interested in going to grad school immediately. I mean, I don't even know what I would go for. What would I go for? Marketing? I don't really want to take any more marketing classes, I'm gonna be honest. So if I were to go to grad school, I would wait. I would wait and figure out what I really want to get a higher degree in and then go into it. There's also the feeling of imposter syndrome this year that I really didn't expect. And I'm sure other people can relate. I might be feeling it a little heavier than others because I am living in a freshman dorm. I'm the assistant hall director and I see freshmen every single day. So it's a weird disconnect of, wow, like I am four years older than them and they are just coming into this new world and I'm nearing my end of it. I rarely see the people that I'm very close with in passing when walking to glass or anything. Over the summer, I got lunch with the director of housing here and he told me a piece of advice that really changed my perspective because I was talking about staying at school, doing grad school, all this stuff. And he said, you and the people made it special. So if you stick around, you're gonna watch all the people disperse out and you're gonna be left with a campus that you don't recognize half the people anymore. And it's gonna feel different and it's gonna feel odd. And it didn't really hit me until this year because a lot of my friends last year were seniors and they left. It's almost like you're in a limbo period here where you're just going through the motions and doing what you have to do to get by and get your degree. There are moments where it's super fun and super awesome and you get to connect with your friends, but going to class just feels like limbo. Doing homework feels like limbo. There are a lot of just weird one-off feelings where you're like, what am I doing right now? Like everything is so weird. Your friends are also going to be spread out across campus. All my friends are living in apartments off campus. There are a few that are still on campus. We're also busy, so it takes a lot of effort to get together. My best friend, for example, she lives off campus and we really have to plan out like, okay, if you're coming here, you have to walk back at 11 p.m. tonight. Are you okay with that? It's a lot of coordinating and putting in effort to see the people you really wanna see on top of everyone stressing out about their own schedule. It's also quite lonely if you don't have roommates. I haven't had a roommate since my freshman year and I come home to a two bedroom apartment, which is incredible and I'm so grateful for it, but it's it's definitely lonely at times. And if you're a senior and you're living on your own, it's it's almost like you're experiencing what you'll experience after grad now. So I feel like I'm adjusting to what post-grad life will be like right now based on my schedule and all that stuff. It's also much harder to make friends. It's very unlike the first two years of college where it's so fun and exciting and you wanna hang out with everyone and meet everyone and exchange numbers with everyone to figure out who you mesh with. By this point, people have meshed with their people and are more unwilling to extend an invite to somebody new because they're comfortable with their groups and it makes it really tough to make friends with people. Every conversation will revolve around your future. What are you gonna do after graduation? Are you gonna move back home? Do you have a job? What's your plan? And it is frustrating. It's very frustrating. Like we are, we are 21, 22 year olds and expected to know exactly what we wanna do right after graduation. We're all gonna have a plan. We're all gonna do something eventually. The constant bombarding of questions is so overwhelming. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. I don't want to walk into a conversation with all my friends and every single time I speak to them, it is so, like, have you decided what you're gonna do yet? Why don't, why don't you ask me how my weekend was? Why don't you ask me anything else? My best piece of advice is to say, that's for me to worry about. That's for me to worry about. Or 
I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Because you don't need to go in depth with everyone about what you are gonna do, what you aren't gonna do. It's also a lot of job searching. Gosh, you get on LinkedIn and I look at all the titles of these jobs I see and none of them seem interesting to me. You also start paying attention more to money and the financial aspect of it. I mean, a lot of people are coming out of college with student loans, so it's factoring in, I'm gonna have loans for X amount of years and it's gonna be this monthly payment. And then you start realizing everything is gonna end up being a trade-off. This job is super duper awesome, but it's three states away from my family and it's gonna require me to move and live on my own. Or this job is super awesome, it pays great, but I'm gonna be living at home and am I able to live at home? Every single decision you make is gonna have a weird little trade-off that you need to start thinking about. And don't even get me started about veering off the path. The education system does not favor creativity. The strict get this internship, do this, do that is not for me. I know that's not for me. And when you do that, a lot of people think it's far-fetched. Like, oh, you're not gonna, what are you gonna do if you're not getting a nine to five job? Like there are people that don't enjoy nine to five jobs, so they don't work them. You just don't see it because you do that. I am all for chasing non-traditional dreams and that's why I'm making these video diaries and I'm taking everyone along the journey with me because I am just figuring it out like everybody else. But my biggest thing with that is don't discuss your plans with people who can't even comprehend it because your friends would be supportive and the people that are telling you, how are you actually going to do that? They don't have your best interests at heart. Don't share that with them. There also comes a point in the year where you just need to accept it. You gotta accept and embrace the uncertainty of the year and the uncertainty of post-grad and what is gonna happen in the next couple years. It's uncomfortable, you know, the fear of the unknown, but you've gotta come to a point where you can be comfortable with that. And if you do that early on in your semester, it's gonna make it so much better. You're gonna really be able to enjoy where you are at and be present. You're leaving the safety net of college and it's scary and I know because I am scared. I am so scared but I'm so excited <laughs> at the same time. The more you dive into what you want to do and less on what other people want and expect, the happier you're going to be. So dive into it now. Think about you. This is your senior year. This is your experience. Like think about you. And that's something I had to do. I was living for other people. Bittersweet to know that you're leaving this place that you've called home for the past four years. But it's also so rewarding when you look back and see how much you've grown, what a privilege it is to be able to experience such growth as a person in this stage of life. Personally, I've found that facing my fears head on, acknowledging what I'm feeling, documenting it, discussing it with myself, journaling, I, I journal quite a bit. I am feeling a lot more comfortable with where I'm at and who I am just by doing this. You craft your own path but you need to choose you in doing so and get to know you. What do you really want to do? Take away all the noise. Take away all the noise. Take away all the expectations. Ground yourself and think, what is it you actually want to do? What do you envision yourself doing that makes you bubbly and excited and happy? What is it? And then do it. Go for it. Life is too short to not. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm learning that right now. And I can't wait to carry it with me throughout my life, my 20s, 30s, 40s, etc. Start learning to be comfortable with the uncomfortable, the uncertainty. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it together. So let's be uncomfortable. That's it. Let's do it together. That's all I have for today. <laughs>